victims. That's the topic for today. That's one of my favorites. I think everybody in their life has been a victim at one point or another. But being a perpetual victim is one of the worst things that you could become in your life. Because it means that you have no control over your future, over any outcomes at all. And before we get started on that, hit the like button, smash the subscribe button, comment. Tell me what you guys think of all this. And let me know what you think of all this content because I want to get your guys' feedback. It's very important. So let's talk about victims. It seems these days that we have more and more people that adopt the victim narrative. We've got people that love to play the victim. Now, what's the problem with that? Well, when you're a victim, you can't be accountable for anything. And that you essentially are saying that you have no control or you just have you have no real reliable control over the outcomes of anything. You've accepted that now there are other factors in you succeeding or failing. And the problem with that is how are you ever going to get traction? How are you ever going to make a difference in your life if you're per, perennial, the perennial victim, if you're the perpetual victim, if you always come up short and you have something else to blame? Now, we've all been victims, as I stated earlier. However, being a victim is also demoralizing. It's shameful in this anti-shame society. It is very shameful to constantly be a victim. Because no matter what you say, no matter what excuse you bring to the table and try to tell me that you're the victim because of this, you're full of shit. Yeah, you heard me. You're full of shit. You're a victim. Cry me a fucking river. Or start being accountable. Victimhood is often a crutch. It is overused. This happened to me, therefore, I am this. Things that you cannot control. Losers focus on what they can't control. Skin color, sex, sexual orientation. What else? Status in life, height, weight. Yeah, right. Weight is something that you can control. Weight is not a factor. You can control that. That's bullshit. You thought I was going to let you get away with that. I don't think so. Weight is something that you very much can control. You just refuse to control it. But all the others that I mentioned are things that you cannot control. So get the fuck over it. If you claim to be a victim from racism, sexism, heightism, any type of ism, you're full of crap. And I hope everybody takes that, takes that to the bank because in all reality, what you're really telling me is that you're not accountable for anything. Yeah, you heard me. Perpetual victimhood makes me sick. And the reason being is because even a person like myself, oh, well, you have white privilege. You have white privilege. You have height privilege. You're over 5'10", or whatever. If I told you my backstory in my personal life, what I've been through, I would have every reason to be a victim. In fact, I'm going to go there. And I don't really care if you judge me or not, because you can kiss my fucking white pink ass if you don't like it. I've been through every type of abuse you can imagine. Yeah, and what? You see me here crying, pitying myself. Oh, I'm a victim. 
I need 1,500 years of therapy. I'm never gonna be right in the head. Get the fuck over yourself, you egotistical prick. If you are a perpetual victim, if you are a victim for any of the reasons that I mentioned, a victim, you need to get your head out of your fucking ass. You can quote me on that. And you can call me whatever names you want. Ist, ism, I don't give a shit. Now what? With your broke ass. With your weak ass. I'm tired of listening to that crap, man. That stuff really pisses me off. You've got the privilege. You've got the privilege to make yourself a victim. Yeah, you heard me. You made yourself a victim. Yeah, I'm not listening to it. So if you've got all those victimhood narratives that already running in your head and you're a victim because of this, I'm not listening to it. And guess what? Nobody else gives a shit. Yeah, you heard me. Nobody fucking cares about your little problems. And no one's coming to save you. So how about you get off your ass and you do something about it? For example, let's say you went through sexual abuse. Yeah, I'm going to go there. The dark stuff. Get to a goddamn therapist. You sure as hell shouldn't be making kids or dating. Okay. Yeah, I get it. It's dark. It's touchy. But guess what? You need to do something about it. We don't need to suffer because of your victimhood, for, because of the crap that you've been through. It all comes back to personal accountability. If you're overweight, that is something you can control. Even if you have a thyroid problem, I don't want to hear your fucking excuses. Because I'm not listening to them. Because I sure as hell know more than you. And I've got more experience than you. And I know a lot more than you do. Because I'm probably older than you. And I've probably got more life experience than you do. Okay? So that's step number one. Get over your little victimhood narrative. Because nobody cares. And nobody's going to fix it for you either. Okay? Now that we get the hard stuff out of the way, let's go to the next step. Getting over your victimhood, your whole, the whole narrative that you've got playing in your head, the reason why you're failing, the reason why is because I was a victim of racism or whatever ism you want to choose. Now what? Seriously. You were a victim of it, now what? Let's say it really did happen the way you said it did. Now what? If you're still fucking ruminating over that shit, you need a therapist, a good therapist. Not a soft therapist, not one that's gonna kiss your little whatever. You need somebody to fix your shit or you need to fix it yourself. Because nobody's listening to that crap. And nobody's feeling sorry for your dumb ass. And yes, you are an idiot if you don't do anything about it. And I don't care if you say, oh, you're judgmental and all this, too bad. Somebody needs to kick your ass. Put a big ass boot in your ass and get you moving. Because a lot of you don't have fathers to do it for you. I'll be your surrogate father. Period. Nothing gets me more fired up than victims. The victimhood narrative. I've heard it so many times and it's always more and more pathetic. And yes, you are pathetic. If you're a victim, you're pathetic. You make me sick. And I don't I don't care if you shut off this video. I don't care if you like don't like it. But guess what? It's the truth. It is 100% fact. We deal with facts over here. What do you think of that? Hmm? You going to clutch go clutch your pillow? You going to get sad about it or are you going to do something about it? Are you going to get off your ass and do something about it? I was a victim of discrimination. So the fuck what? Now what? What are you going to do? You're going to go sue? Or are you going to do something about it? 
and become better. The best revenge in life is success. What you're really saying is you cannot succeed. Not because of whatever victim status you've, uh, you've, you've adopted. What you're really saying is you can't win on your own merit. I get tired of you fuckers with your victim shit. I don't want to listen to it. And nobody else does either, by the way. It's not just me. I'm the one telling you how it is and how we feel about it. <clears throat> victim. Anyway. So let's say you're not stuck in victim status. Good for you. But if you are, go back to going to therapy. Fix it. Because your little problems are not our problems. Period. Your problems are your problems. Deal with them, fix them, or shut the fuck up. Period. Because nobody else wants to hear that shit. Okay? And this is coming from somebody who's been a victim of many, many different every type of abuse you can imagine. So what? So what? So the fuck what? You don't see me over here crying about that shit. And it's because I did the work. Now, I know I, you think I'm being hard on you, but guess what? You need this kick in the ass. I wish I had this kick in the ass 10 years ago. 15 years ago. I'd be a fucking multi-billionaire by now. You guys need this. And those of you that are still watching, you know you need this. You know I'm right. You may not like it. Does it feel good? It doesn't make me happy. Just be happy. Be happy my ass. Happiness is a feeling. Some days you're gonna be up, some days you're gonna be down. Some days you're gonna be pissed, who cares? Move on. Get over yourself. <laughs> Man. Victim. So, you are a victim. You have now processed that you're a victim. Now you say, okay, well, Paul, you, you know, you're coming down on me kind of hard. What do I do about it? I'm going to therapy. Good. Now I want you to accept that you are the cause of all of your problems. 100%. Everything in your life, everywhere where you're at right now, is your fault. You did it to yourself. Nobody did it to you. Wherever you're at in life, you did it to yourself. Nobody did it to you. You did it to yourself. Especially if you're an adult. Now, if you're a young, 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 young person, okay, you may have got your ass kicked. But even now, you got to do something about it. For example, let's say you were a little kid and, you know, you got, you had something bad happen to you. You got molested. I know it's dark. I know it doesn't sound good, but it happens. It is now, it's now your responsibility to fix it. Nobody else's. Nobody's going to come save you. And somebody needs to let you know this so you don't spend the first half of your life trying to figure things out and trying to fix things without the proper support. Okay? Because I had to go down that path and it sucked. People are lost more than ever these days. People have lack of identity. More and more. Well, what am I? I'm gender fluid. I'm gender this, and I'm uh, I'm an inist, and uh, you know I'm up and down, and uh, I'm gender neutral, and blah blah blah. Have you ever noticed the language that people use? Very confused. Nobody is sure of themselves. And if you guys don't see this, you're part of the problem. So let's get over the whole victimhood narrative. Let's all look in the mirror and say, hey, 
I did this to myself. I'm broke because I did not work hard enough. I did not get the opportunity. Well, it's because I'm, you know, because I'm short and because I don't have all the other opportunities of everybody else. Where? Where? Nobody cares. Nobody cares about your crybaby narrative. Nobody. The sooner you accept that, you swallow that pill, the faster you're going to get your ass moving. No. I do not accept your excuses. No. You need to start telling yourself no. No, I don't accept failure. No, I don't accept this happened to me. I did it to myself. Yes, I did it to myself. You did it to yourself. If you've got problems that are not solved, it's because you didn't fix them. It was nobody else's responsibility but your own. If you're watching this video, you know I'm right. If you're this far in, you know that I'm telling you the truth. It's time we get honest with ourselves. If you cannot be honest with yourself, you will never, ever be happy. Okay? Ever. Because you have no control over any of the outcomes in your life. That's what you're really telling me. Well, what if a meteor hits you and all this? Just stop it. Stop trying to fucking split hairs. Start focusing. Are you focused? Are you focused? Or are you still making excuses? I'm a victim of this. I'm a victim of that. Nobody cares. Have we established that now? I hope so. Nobody cares. Nobody cares how far I had to struggle to get to where I am. Nobody cares. And that's okay. They're not supposed to care. The only person who's supposed to know and care is you. Yourself. Because only you know how hard it was to get to where you are. That's why all the girls that want to be with me now that I'm, you know, becoming this success and they smell it. Do you think I care about them? No. Because I know that they don't understand how much effort it took to get to where I am. They don't appreciate it. But I want you guys to appreciate yourselves. I know I'm hard on you. I know it doesn't feel good. But I'm the reason I'm doing this is because I care about your future. Why? Because the more winners in this winner's legion there are, the better we all are. Period. Because you have to give back. It's not always about yourself. You could be on a singular mission to becoming the best of the best at something and yet it's still not all about you. You can't do everything on your own, guys. We all need help sometimes. And that's why I'm here. To put a metaphorical foot in your ass. To be your surrogate father. Like you need. And it's not just the guys. It's the girls just as much. If not more so. Because women, holy mackerel. You guys are out in fucking fantasy land. And social media makes it even worse. You're listening to all these... Look... You like to hear all these lovable, you know, these, what do they call them? The lovely lies. But guess what? That doesn't get you further. 
it doesn't get you anywhere. Nobody is putting out this type of content. Raw, unfiltered reality. They're all trying to sugarcoat it with something. But guess what? I'm not trying to because I'm not trying to appease anyone because I don't work for anybody. I don't. My customers, yes. But if they don't like it, I'll get other customers. I fire problem customers. I don't deal with them. Nobody controls my future except myself. And the same thing goes for you guys. When you're done being a victim, you are gonna have absolute control over your future, over the outcomes that you want. You're gonna say, holy cow, I can't believe it. All this stuff is starting to come together. And then you're gonna thank me. You may not know it, but you will. You're gonna say, holy cow, my life's getting better. My life is actually improving. And you're gonna be proud of yourself. That's the best part. That's the payoff. You're gonna be proud of what you've done. Nobody's gonna be able to take that away from you. Nobody. Nobody. I'm trying to get the right angles here. Is that good? That's not bad. Getting a little better. A little better at this. You get to see palm trees all the time. Once you guys take control, once you say, I'm the problem in my life, nobody else, you're gonna start seeing dramatic improvements. You're gonna start taking control over all the things that bother you because you will finally realize that you were the problem all along. If you're fat and you say, hey, I'm fat because of myself, what you're really saying is, I have control over the outcome. Hmm. That's a fucking fascinating idea, isn't it? Take, take accountability for my problems? Hmm. Hmm. Never thought of it that way. Everybody else doesn't control my life? Yeah, that's correct. You're accountable. You're the ones that are accountable. My followers, you guys are accountable for your own lives. Okay? Now, most of you are going to say, ah, oh, fuck this guy, what does he know? Most of you are going to not believe me. Most of you are going to be in denial about it, and that's fine. I don't need most of you to believe me because you're gonna keep getting your ass kicked and fucking 20 years from now when you have nothing and you're sad and miserable you're gonna say shit should have listened to that to that guy I should have listened to him he did know what he was talking about and there's nothing worse than kicking yourself in the ass for something you should have done years ago and hopefully you're not past that point of no return where you can't actually turn it around because that would be embarrassing. So let's recap. Victimhood. No more being the victim. How do I not become the victim? You take control and accountability for everything in your life. All of your problems are yours. They're nobody else's and nobody else's fault. And if you were victimized, get over it. If you were singled out because of something that you can't control, then what? Well, we should... Well, it should, people shouldn't do that, and they shouldn't, you know, do, yeah, shoulda, woulda, coulda. 
That's life. You're going to have to deal with ass kickings in life. You're going to have to deal with getting your ass kicked, whether it's justified or not. The world doesn't give a crap about your problems. Not only that, it shouldn't have to. Nobody owes you guys understanding, okay? The world doesn't owe you understanding at all. So that's why I want you guys to be accountable. Do you see what I'm saying? The world does not owe you guys understanding. I'm repeating it because it is 100% true. Now, you guys may think I have just, you know, magically just started believing all this stuff. No, I had to get my ass kicked many, many times before I figured things out. I don't want you guys to have to go through the same pain because it isn't fun. And you start to feel like an idiot. And guess what? Not only that, now you're behind. You're way behind everybody else. Everybody else is ahead of you. They've got the advantage. And now you have to scramble and catch up. And boy, oh boy, that is not fun. Being behind sucks. Being behind is like... It really sucks. Because now you got the you got the real pressure. Because now, and by the way, you know that you partied too much. You know you goofed off. You know you went on vacations you couldn't afford. You know you you know you effed up. You just don't want to admit it. When you're the victim, you don't want to admit anything. You don't want to admit that you screwed up. You can't you can't even face the fact that you made a mistake. The people that are the biggest weaklings are the people that always need to be right. I know who you are. I hear you all the time. Well, this is this and yeah, and that's... And constantly arguing. You want to know why? Because you're an effing loser. You're a failure. You know it. You know you're wrong, but you can't even admit you're wrong. You can't even admit you're wrong because you know you don't want to learn any lessons. You want everybody else to deal with your problems. That's what you really want. You want everybody else to deal with your effing problems and be a victim and get attention. Because you want to know what the real reason is because you're in pain. People that need that constant attention are in pain. They are miserable. Miserable pieces of shit. Constant attention. Constant validation. The most arrogant people on the planet. The people that squawk the most are the weakest. The weakest people on the planet. They go home at, at night and cry themselves to sleep. Maybe you guys think I talk a lot because, you know, of all my videos, but I don't talk that much. I stay pretty quiet. I listen. I listen. I listen to what people say. You got two ears, one mouth. You got to listen in life. When you listen to people, you start to realize what's really going on. You start to make moves in life that pivot around everybody else's bullcrap. I listen to people. I don't mouth off. I don't get into fights. I don't, I don't deal with any drama. Zero. So if you still feel like a victim after this video, you got some serious, serious work to do with your brain. Because it's messed up. Victims. What is the opposite of a victim? Someone that's sure of themselves, in control. They've got a pretty good bead on where they need to be. They don't make excuses. Victims are the biggest excuse makers on the planet. Every time I hear that excuse, I know. I know that they've got massive amounts of failure in their lives. Debt, problems, head meds, drugs, you name it. So, now that you 
have admitted that you're a victim and that it is your own fault that you are said victim, now you can start to make some progress. You can actually take back control of your own life. There is nothing more. I hate these goddamn buzz buzzwords, but I'm going to use it. Empowering. Than actually owning all of your mistakes. It is embarrassing. It is uncomfortable. It's not fun. At first. But once you actually own them, you can now move forward in every area of your life. Fitness. Health. Wellness. Money. Retirement. You name it. Not only that, people will respect you way more. Nobody respects a victim. Nobody. They don't. They feel sorry for you. They pity you. Yeah, you'll get short-term attention, but behind closed doors, they think you're a jackass because they know you're not accountable. And that's the real truth, and that's the one you don't want to hear. But that's about as real as it gets, guys. And I told you I'm going to be real with you. Whether you like it or not, that's why I'm here. I'm here to put my foot in your ass. Somebody needs to do it. If I had got this 20 years ago, ooh boy. That would have been something. I'm going to hit this light real quick. So, we're getting over the victim here. We're getting over the victim narrative. We're taking accountability. We're looking in the mirror and saying, hey, I'm fat because I ate too many pieces of cheesecake. Hmm? You're starting to take control. Now you're saying, I can do something about all my problems. I can actually, now you're always gonna have problems. Make no mistake. Just because you take accountability doesn't mean your problems disappear. You have to put in the work. The reason why I don't hammer home hard work and all, you know, hard work pays off. I don't do that because that's obvious. I'm going to go this way. That's fucking obvious. You're going to have to put in the work. And hard work isn't always hard. Sometimes it's, it's a little more, you got to be a little smart about it. But victimhood, we don't do victim, victimhood, victim, all this other bullshit in the winner's legion. It doesn't work that way. And now losers are going to try to... Here's the best part about being a winner, guys. When you win in life at anything, like I told you before, you're going to lose sometimes. That's okay. You're going to fail sometimes. Losers are actually going to try to shame you for making them take accountability. They're gonna say, oh, well, you're victim blaming and victim shaming, I can't believe you. <laughs> Stay far away from people like that. Their lives are nothing but chaos and insanity, complete craziness. They live in an alternate universe of complete chaos, and they will ruin your lives. I know you guys have met many, many victims. If you're not a victim yourself, I know you've met these types of people. Stay far away. Because they are in massive amounts of pain. Both mentally, physically, financially, Spiritually, emotionally, all of it. Stay away. Do not deal with them. They will suck you down right into the quicksand and ruin your life. And you'll try to help them. Do not try to help anyone who is a victim. Do not. Well, that's cold and heartless. How could you do that? <laughs> They're a victim. They're in pain. Have at it. Get sucked into the quicksand with them. Go for it. Enjoy. 
enjoy. I refuse. The winner's legion refuses to get sucked down to those types of people. Refuse. But they just need a little bit of help, me. I don't give a shit. That's not my problem. Not my problem. NMP, not my problem. You can't be this cold. Winners are cold. They don't like softness. They don't like that stuff. They don't deal with that crap. Now, what if it's somebody who's also a success? Somebody who is working their ass off that doesn't have any excuses, that doesn't have any issues, that is accountable, and they're in a little bit of trouble, and you got the means, and you are completely stable in your life. Say okay. Because those people will not drag you down into actual I'm sweating out here guys, getting itchy. They will not drag you down into sadness and misery. Right? They will not drag you down into pain. You get what I'm saying? I repeat, do not help out anyone. Ooh, a fig. Right here, guys. Look at these massive ass. Look at these massive ass figs. It's growing. I bet they're delicious, but I'm not eating them. Let me see if you guys can see this. Hey, it's massive ass figs. It's a huge plant. Anyway, this guy's got limes and everything. Look. Good lord. Anyway, I digress. I haven't been down this street, so do not help. The victims do not steer clear of them and if you're a victim yourself and you need help go get professional help do not seek out your friends you selfish prick you're selfish how dare you drag them down into your mess I hate people like you I hate people like you <laughs> you're just just the worst you really are so don't do that Jesus Anyway, I'm going to wrap it up. When it comes down to victims, victimhood, victim narrative, victim status, you guys are in the control of that outcome. And I don't care if you don't believe me. You know it deep down inside. You're just not honest with yourself. When you're honest with yourself, is that weight that just goes right off your shoulders. When you're honest with yourself, when you're accountable, you start to realize, holy cow, life isn't that hard. I've just made it very difficult. I've listened to all the enablers out there. We have a goddamn society of enablers now. Enabling failure. When I was growing up, we didn't have the internet. We didn't have all this crap. So guess what? We didn't have all the information right at our fucking fingertips. And you have the audacity to say, you can't win. Make that make sense. Make it make sense. You can't. You still got people failing. At the same rates as before. Why? Because there is no increase in accountability. Think about it. There's actually been a decrease in accountability. People whining like never before. People crying. Oh, the world is so cruel. Like never before. You've got less accountability than ever. Okay? So make that make sense. Make it make sense. You can't. You've got less people that actually are taking control of their lives. You got more enablers than ever before. It's just a society of enablers. 
So I'm not going to complain about society. I'm going to get on your guys' asses to do something about it. Enabling failure. How do you enable failure? Well, you accept the crappy little excuses that you get from other people. And you make those excuses yourself. If you're an alcoholic, I guarantee you've got an enabler who helps you get that alcohol. Who helps you fail. Who makes you feel better about it. Oh, I know you do. I know you. If you are 600 pounds, you definitely have an enabler. Somebody to help you eat until you're about to die. Until you're about to burst. Enablers are just as bad as victims. There, I said it. I don't care if you don't like it. Enablers are just as bad as victims. The victimhood narrative. So, is this going to be the most popular video? Maybe not. Maybe. I don't really care. But now you know, and somebody has confirmed it, that being a victim is unacceptable. And that you have control of it. Well, you're victim blaming and victim shaming. I don't give a shit. You keep, you, you keep using those excuses. You keep failing. And in 15, 20 years, when you were at rock bottom and uh, pretty much just a miserable pile of shit, I'll say I told you so, but I don't have to. I don't rub in my success at all with anybody's faces. Nope. I don't need to do that. Nope. Why would I have to do that? They already know. It's not my problem. Right? So. Let's move forward with the victimhood crap, okay? We're not going to talk about any more supporting those retards. And we're going to take control. If you're a victim and this resonates with you, good. Good, I hope it shook you up. Good, I hope you're thinking about it. Good, you're going to do something about it. You're not going to make any more excuses. You're not going to blame your height. You're not going to blame your looks. You're not going to blame anything. You're going to get off your ass and do something. Well, you know, I'm not good looking enough to make it. So what? Good looking guy has plenty of problems. If not more so. So what? Oh, I'm not tall enough. Tall guys have plenty of problems. I met a guy the other day, six foot ten, miserable. Good looking guy too. Six foot ten. Miserable. He has a plethora of problems you guys couldn't even imagine. We all have problems. Get over it. Take control of the things that you can control. That's what winners do. Step one, or part one, excuse me. Losers focus on what they can't control. Two, winners focus on what they can control. That's why they succeed. They don't focus on crap they can't control. Well, what if lightning, lightning strikes? Can't control it. Well, what if I get hit by a meteor? Can't control it. What if somebody, you know, doesn't give me a promotion because of sexism? Can't control it. It's not going to do you any good. Focused on the wrong things. And that's what I've said from the get-go, guys. Focus. Focus. Focus is paramount. And what else? That's enough for today. Let's wrap it up. Let's come to the conclusion that you guys are going to be accountable. You're not going to be a victim. You're not going to be an enabler of a victim. You're going to be cold and calculating. And you're not going to help or enable a loser or a victim. Okay? And then you're going to take control of your own life. If you haven't already. Because in these videos we make progress. 
you'll start at the bottom or you'll start here but you're always going to make progress period progress is the only thing you need consistent a little bit every day a little bit every day that's what i want to see from you guys until next time i'm watching you get to it